Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through the first portion of what I plan to do for my classroom setup. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I'll also show you what I got for the kids as far as uniform tops go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. French toast is one of the best uniform polo shirt vendors I've ever used. They're perfect for kids who have longer torsos. My daughter is extremely tall and so is my son. And I find that with French toast shirts, they don't fade and they also are long enough so that they can tuck them in and they still have a really neat look. The U Dry Premium shirts are dry fit. So they also are breathable and they don't fade either. So I was very excited about that when I was able to find all of these on Amazon and I'll link those below. So now you see that I also had to buy tissue flowers and I had to buy the tassel garlands which normally I would make but you know gotta do what you gotta do and this is also a shower curtain that I plan on using in my classroom so based on what you see in the shower curtain you'll have some idea of what my classroom is sort of set up like so I hope you guys enjoy this video and stick around until the end this is only episode one of the saga that is my classroom setup so far. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys. So today is another work day for me. I'm actually heading to Southeastern because there's a training there because I have a student teacher this year. So this is my first year with the student teacher. I'm really excited for this opportunity because so many people really don't know what all it takes to become a teacher and to do this job really well and it takes a lot of outside help it takes a lot of you putting forth effort outside of what's only required of you i don't know anybody who's become really good or even excellent at this job and they didn't have to do things outside of when the school bell times it's just I don't I don't know that you could do that so it's actually my pleasure to be able to go out and drive you know even though it's an hour drive for me this is a calling this is not just a job so if I could be of assistance to someone who may view teaching that way or someone who can be impactful in the lives of children I'll do it the hour drive is nothing for me because I know that what I do is way bigger than the job title and the actions that I take and you know what's written down on paper for a job description what I do is impactful on a spiritual level it's impactful on a domino effect type of level because what I do not only impacts my students but it impacts whomever they touch it impacts whatever they decide to do in the future I don't know that I've ever been able to speak about something positive in my life and to go into detail about it without mentioning a teacher then on the flip side there have been times where if i had to say you know a time that wasn't so pleasant i could name a teacher so what we do matters guys i mean if you really think about it teaching is a calling like you have to be in it and i'm in it running late with the babies this morning they were not feeling it so we're actually going to be finding a daycare for them or keeping them at their private preschool. We're going back and forth with that decision. We're not quite sure what we're going to do yet. Cameron is three years old. The babies are actually going to be four tomorrow. I can't even believe that. So Cameron's actually three years old. They're going to be four tomorrow. And he's he did really well with the potty and he was doing well with potty training. And I know y'all say three years old, that might be a little late, but I'm that parent who like I let the ch I let my kids tell me when they were ready to potty train his language and vocabulary is there but he's the kind of kid who like if he's playing he'll just have an accident he, he just he just won't care so with the private school it's more of a school setting I mean they they have book sacks they ride buses it's you know and then it's also the logistical things that was an issue so they would have to go to school by 7 30 would be like 7.30 would be the earliest they could get there. And then school dismisses at 2.45. Like, I can't even begin to explain my frustration with this summer. It is raining 
again. After I left Southeastern, my goal was to go to my classroom and get some things set up and bring some of the items that I purchased to my classroom so that I could start to try to put my classroom together because I have not organized a single thing yet and I'm going to be starting school next week. So my anxiety is like up to here or, or probably beyond that because I haven't done anything. And that's not like me because I am highly organized and I like things to be a certain way and I'm feeling a bit anxious because I haven't gotten to my classroom yet because it refuses to stop raining in Louisiana. This is obnoxious. This has been the rainiest, most annoying weather for this summer that I've ever experienced. I don't know if it's ever rained this much in one summer. Y'all, I'm over it. So my plan is to just sit at home today and try to get some things done. I was supposed to visit the daycare. Can't do that in the rain either. So I'm going to hope and pray that maybe this rain stops at about two o'clock or hopefully like three o'clock so that I can go and visit the daycare, go take a tour, pick up the babies, and then maybe try to get some things made for my classroom. Some things have had to be purchased that I would normally make because I'm running behind so bad. Y'all, it's just, it's incredibly frustrating. So I have my curtains and I'm gonna put those in my classroom today. I also have these that I bought, which normally I would never do I totally know how to make tissue paper flowers and I know how to make streamers but you know desperate times call for desperate measures Quick tip, wanted to throw this in guys. At the bottom, they're stuck together, but it's an easy quick pull. Pull it off first before you start to form it. And don't be like me and end up pulling off pieces for no good reason. I'm rushing and I wasn't thinking. So I want you guys to know that. They do stick together at the bottom to keep the sheets together, obviously. So you wanna pull them apart here and then also you have this going on and when it's time for you to separate the five sheets, they come apart very easily. I have the navy blue and the purple left. So I'll just finish that when I get there. But considering how long this took, I'm glad I did this before I got to school because this would have been a waste of time for me to wait and do it then and then take up the time that I really need to actually put everything together and put it up. I do still have to do these and I have to hang up the curtain and that's it. So I gotta pause to take Gabriel to the doctor and then I will meet you guys back at school. All right, so just a quick look at what I'm working with. I have several boxes that I need to unpack. I have things that I need to move. And I have these things up here 
that I need to get from up there and put them somewhere in this classroom. Y'all, I am a bit overwhelmed because we are actually going to be meeting parents and students tomorrow. It's a very informal type of meeting where they come to drop off supplies, but I have to get this classroom at least presentable by tomorrow. And I have to tell you, I'm freaking out a bit because I have to take Gabriel to the doctor and I'm just now getting here and it's after 12 o'clock and I have to be out of the school at five. I'm gonna move these and put them where I think I might want them to be. I'm still not quite sure, but yeah. And then I took a quick look around my classroom and this area has coffee and a dirty cup and check my microwave and it's dirty. I didn't leave it that way this summer. So that's quite frustrating. I got on my nerves a bit when I saw that, so yeah. So I've just been writing myself little notes here, like in the worst handwriting ever, about things that I need to either do or pick up, just to give myself a quick reminder while it's kind of in my brain, because if not, I'll forget and then I'll be annoyed that I forgot. <laughs> 